Greetings, greetings, and salutations, beautiful people in the beautiful world. It is me. He is I. I am him, Zach Latimer, Z Lat, and welcome back to another segment of Right and Exact. Shout out to a new nation and a shout out to you. Thank you for tuning in. Let's jump in. A lot of things going on in the world today, a lot of things going around the world today, but let's keep this in mind. Nothing is new. Nothing that is going on is new that you are seeing. The only thing that is new is the technology. The only thing that is new is that now you have a camera that you can hold in your hand and that you can take anywhere with you that you go. Or, or you can take a picture of it or you can video camera. This was a time when you, the only thing you had was that big old joint that you had to throw on your shoulder and, and that really wasn't getting it done. So when you start to... Bring these things from maybe the, the things that you never saw or the things that was in your peripheral and you bring it to the front of your vision and you start to see these things being uploaded on social media. You see these things, some may or may not see these things on the news. Um, and you start to finally take a look and take into account that something or somebody or someone is trying to decrease your quality of life, then you have to stand up and become a warrior. You must stand up and become a warrior. Now, when I say becoming a warrior, I could be talking about a spiritual warrior, yes. I could be talking about a physical warrior, yes. But the first thing, even before you get to either one of those, the first thing that one must do on their road to freedom and liberation is become a scholarly warrior. That is the only way that you will liberate yourself. And I'm talking about education. You must plant that educational seed. And without education, you will get overthrown every time. No doubt about it. All right. And now let's be clear. When I say education, I'm not talking about public education. All right. I'm not talking about one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. That, that's not what I'm talking about. When I'm talking about education, you must be educated on who and what you are. And when I say who and what you are, some may just say knowledge of self. You have to have a knowledge of self, of who you are before somebody told you who you are. See, and sometimes we mistake the, diff we, we, we don't differentiate education and training, all right? You train something that you wanna oppress. You train something, you train animals. All right. You train. Would you train? Would you train a tiger to, to of who and what it is? Heck no. You would train it to keep it oppressed so you could keep it just to show it off to everybody. But if you educated it, well, it's going to stand up for itself. Well, when you educate yourself on who and what you are, then just like Brother Amos Wilson said, you might start to change different words. When you see riot, you might plug in revolt. It'll make you start to look at things totally different. OK. So now, when we look at this, you have to look at it and you're basically playing a game of chess. Okay, you're playing a game of chess. And if you're sitting down playing a game of chess, would you sit down from the person across from you and would you ask them, what, you, what do you think the best move that I should make? What kind of response do you think you're going to get from the person that you're playing? Do you think that you're going to get a response that's going to let you actually win and whoop them? Or do you think that you're going to get a response that will probably say, you know what? Make this best move. I'm going to let you feel like you're in the game, but you're not totally going to be able to just smash me because I made the game up. And now you're asking me, so I'm going to give you some rules that you feel. I meant some moves that you feel is going to work best. And, and I'm going to give you some rules that you really don't feel like I'm actually smashing you and keeping my foot on your throat. Well, now you have to start taking to a look and account into the things that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. These things that you're going to try to overthrow the, the people that you're playing against. And ask yourself, where did this come from? Who gave you these rules? Who told you this was the right way to go about when you want to stand up for yourself? You're supposed to have a walk in the street. Or you're supposed to uh, come together and just spend your money with each other. Where, you, where did this stuff come from? Who told you to do this? You start to actually take a step back and look at it. If you ever went to the... If you ever went to a, a football game or a basketball game or whatever, and you ever just sat back and watched, and as they're playing the game, they keep running the same play over and over again, 
and the other team is just on it, and you sit there and start booing, boo, boo, coach, what is this coach doing? Why does he keep running the same play? You get mad, you get angry, and you get frustrated, and you're like, I can do a better job than this. Well, then why do you keep doing the same thing on an everyday basis? Every time something happens, you get in your feelings and get in your emotions and you feel like you need to jump in and join in and do something. But then you do the same thing that's been going on over and over. You take to the streets or you, you start doing all of this stuff because you feel like you need to do something. You just got to ask yourself, how is that working out for you? How is that working out for you? That, that's the definition of insanity, isn't it? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. I think it would be wise upon one to say, you know what, hold up. Something about this is not working. It might be time to go a different route. It might be time to go in a different direction. But now when you go in this new direction, when you go into this direction of actual freedom and liberation, just know it comes with some work. You're going to have to roll your sleeves up. You're going to have to police yourself. You're going to have to grow your own food. You're going to have to start building some buildings, some infrastructures. And am I talking about doing it in somebody else's backyard? Well, now you got to be, again, a person of scholarship. And start to see, you know, did they try this? Have it been, has it been done? Well, it might be wise for me to do it somewhere else. You look at Black Wall Street. Look at David Koresh. <laughs> look at some of these other people who have already tried this stuff. All right? And then you got to start making moves from there. Now, am I saying this to scare you? Nope. Am I saying this so you sit there and do absolutely nothing and wait for an answer from somebody who's going to peek out of the sky and say, I got you now. Nope. <laughs> you just got to get smarter. Sit down and really look at this stuff with a fine tooth comb. And when you ask, you're going to ask me, well, what do you think the solution is? I'm going to tell you the solution. Go on your podcast, look up Enlightenment and Transformation, and go to this community radio show, July 7th. And it's about a two-hour show. Go about an hour and 25 minutes into the show. You got your solution. You got your solution. All right? I will that you have a wonderful day. I will that you have peace. But just like my man Chi says, peace. Only if you're willing to fight for it. I'm Zach. You can check me out on Instagram, Zach Latimer, or Facebook at Zach Latimer. Hit me up. We can talk about it, chop it up, whatever. Until next time, deuces.